commitment for Change Camp 2011, and we're still in the registration portion right now, getting all the kids uh, together, rounded up, and registered. The eight, nine, ten year olds, this side on the front. For those who don't know me, um, Keon Carmen. <laughs> Good to see y'all again for the third year. My, my main issue is for this week and from, from here on out, a lot of guys who's been here for all three years, we are a family. We take care of each other. From this point on, you guys will forever will be a part of the Commitment for Change family. If you're in this group, you're in this group. You play for this school, that school. Everyone out here is to help everyone get better. Okay? Does everybody understand that? Let's go. Commitment for change on three. Commitment for change on three. One, two, three. Commitment for change. You ever see somebody at the line like this, put your hands back on them, and they be like this, and the quarterback <laughs> look and try to throw, you don't want to be that guy. You want to be that guy to get this. Oh, they don't move. I think it's a great program that we've uh, implemented uh, three years strong, that the kids not only coming out here to learn football skills, but they learn their life skills as well. Left leg, left leg, right hand, left leg, right hand. This is the, the grunting, the grueling part of it, which they don't like to do, but this is what they got to do to make it to that next level. Come on now. Right leg, come on. Get over the line. You look like you dancing over here. I consider this guy a little brother to me, you know, been knowing him since he was, what, 17 years 17. old at Virginia Tech. Um, and he came all the way here to share a story with y'all. Clap it up for Mr. Michael Vick. It's an honor to be here, man. Anytime I have a chance to come speak to a group of kids who uh, I once seen in, in the situation that I was in when I was younger, as far as attending camps, wanting to get better as a football player, wanting to get better as an individual. The one thing I want you to do right now is figure out what you want to do with your life moving forward. Don't just be a football player, be a student athlete as well. Because grades are more important than anything. So if you don't take anything away from my conversation, take that away. That your grades are more important than anything. Far more important than football. Uh, man, I always try to make a conscious, conscious effort to get out and uh, support Keon and what he's doing in this community is very important to me, as well as it's important to him. So um, it's just an honor, man. They, they, they even want me to come out. You know what You had a little rock, but that's better than the first time. It's for the kids, first of all, and um, I definitely like to support other guys. We have foundations is looking out for the community. Bags too? No, we had a uh, slide through. That's important to me, definitely, because I, I do it myself. You know, I have my own camp, my own scholarship um, function that I do every year. So um, it's definitely important for those who can get to give back to the community. Show support, help out the kids, say a few words of encouragement. And support things like this that keep kids off the streets, out of trouble. And, uh, you know, trying to do well and, and be successful in life. C Make up in my mind at a very young age, either I was going to follow and, and continue that cycle, or I was going to break the cycle. So what I decided to do was break the cycle. I decided to study harder in school, and when I got a chance to play sports, I would. So it was just kind of like whenever I had the opportunity to do something which I thought was positive, I put everything into it.
Because the most important thing you can do is complete your bachelor's degree, the minimum of your bachelor's degree. So you have drugs and education that's still competing, but it seems like right now in the inner cities that the drugs and the attitude and the behavior with the drug is winning. So we try to change that behavior and that attitude to work. vision come to life, you have to have people that are committed just as you are. And for, for us being our third year, um, you know, a lot of us, most of these people were here with us when we first started with about 60 to 80 kids. And we've grown to over 200 kids in three years. I've come to develop personal relationship with these kids. Some of them have been here three years, some of them I just met. But through the course of this week, I consider all of these like my sons and my little brothers. And we would like to bring up our MVP sponsor, Caprice Watkins from State Farm to present our C4C 2011 MVP prize. Aaron Savage, please come up. you were before you came here, you're committed to be different. You're committed to be special. What we're going to do as a staff is teach you how to do that. Not just on the field, but off the field. 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 